<laughs> Welcome to the Hardly Heroes Podcast. Hive of the city, they shine in my spotlight. Commissioner on the rooftop, double H in the night sky. For the sidekicks, we fight for the right crosses we throw. For the ninjas, we injure revenge on a phone. From crime alley to radioactive insects, genetic mutations, weapon X rejects are infinite. Arson and crisis, a walls are civil but secret. Here come the Mad King, Scalardo snacks, cheese whiz, Mad Cardigan. Blaring through the speakers, yeah. Totally heroes. It's clobbering time. Welcome to Hardly Heroes, a podcast dedicated to movies, TV, and everything geek-related. I'm your host, Buddy. Dillard Skillard. I'm Schmeezy. I'm Bird. Welcome to episode 188. The date is 1-2-1-2-1-9. Wow. Uh, one day before my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Michelle. Happy birthday. Muffin. 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 Yes. Michelle. Gertie. Mitch. I like to call Gertie. her Mitch. Mitch, um, if you are new to the show, go to hardlyheroes.com and you can look up the bios on Cheese, Scalardos, and the Mad King myself and this cardigan where here on. Hello. So I want to tell all the listeners right now that Bird is in fact wearing a very holiday esque. I wouldn't say Christmas, but definitely Kinda like holiday Santa. season. I'm like Santa ish. Yeah, holiday season cardigan. It's kind of long. It's like. It's, it's not. Almost. It's definitely crocheted or knitted. It's not just a regular yeah. cotton. It's also red. It's red. It's impressive. It's beautiful. It's what I want to know is, she was like, "Oh, like, can I see your cardigan?" And Bird like peeled it off <laughs> her shoulder and then put it right back. No, she was like, mm. no, "Well, I think I, Cheese like tried to see if it would yeah. actually came off or if it was like physically." I attached. didn't know. Like, mm-hmm. could can she remove I, it? I blink them off. Like, right. I just think about it, and like, that's how I switched I to the Jamie, next one. Yeah, like, I like. What we have been wondering, we've been clamoring from the sidekicks. Do you have a nighttime cardigan? I have house cardigans. House cardigans. House so cardigans. That you don't card- see like some outside. Have- right. No, they don't. They When they have a hole, when a cardigan gets a hole, it is retired into a house cardigan. <laughs> that's, I definitely remember that's like a gray cardigan that you used to wear Was around the, the house. the one covered in cats? Because that one I wear around the house. <laughs> like there, it has cats on it or cat hair? They're both. Mm. So for the sidekicks that don't know, Bird and Schmees used to roomie together. We were roommates for a, a few years. years. A few years. Yeah. Two, three. Cir- circa so. what year? Like recently. Ish. Really? Yeah. Cause not, like, not like in the last couple. Like five years? Like four years 2015. Ago? Yeah. Okay. Was it two, yeah, maybe like four that. years ago. Yeah. All right. 14, 15. Okay. That um, was where the aughts. Uh, we were roommates in the aughts. Yeah, in, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we had, we were like, uh, you know, we were just like two single ladies with uh, our pets. We had pets. Like she had a cat and I had two dogs. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of fun. What I did learn about Bird, That's besides great. the cardigan, is that she eat. she doesn't like her food to touch. Oh, yeah. She's a non-food toucher? Yeah, so she has these special plates. They're not special. They're you, seg- pr- you segregate your food? Yeah, they're, she segregates. They're, they're prison trays, basically. Uh, yeah, okay. like you a know? prison tray. So yeah, she'd yeah. have her food. The different compartments on it? In mm-hmm. the different compartments. And yeah. I'm over there, one plate, I like to mix it up and swirl <gasps> it together. Oh, you know? yeah. yeah. <laughs> like if I No, but let's say I'm You're eating a... like mashed potatoes, chicken, and corn. I need all three of those in one bite yeah and i need sure. the chicken in the entree section right, i right. need the corn in exactly. the <laughs> side in section the vegetable sides. and the potatoes in the other and then yeah. the dessert brownie in the middle <laughs> yeah, <I'm just> <laughs> See, i like them i like them to be separate but then with each bite you have to bring everything yeah. together you know yeah. but you still got to keep everybody no i can't stand when lane. people have like salad oh my god the that's what i was plate. just gonna say ah. oh no i like on that. thanksgiving when people pile yeah. up and you can see dressing <laughs> touching other no, food yeah no. that's Ugh. good that's hey. good or like, like i'll eat a little bit of salad like with my mashed potatoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> so what right. if like the blood from your steak runs into the salad <laughs> is that Ugh. gross no that's fine okay Ugh. i don't like anything touching my salad Okay, so your salad needs to be in a separate container. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it in a bowl and then have the other stuff. Exactly. On. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The salad never goes on the same plate with anything else. <laughs> yeah. Well, that and I don't get how people can eat like hot salad because it'll be next to like hot food. Uh. <laughs> 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 this show is already derailed. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Anyway, so let's get uh, into welcome this. Welcome back to one or episode one eighty eight. Let's start fresh. I'm your host, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing. We we're so glad you're here, Bird. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. We've been like waiting I'm here for, for the you. Star Wars yeah, we've been waiting for you. You've been kind of busy. We've been trying to book it for a while. So we're glad. So we're talking about Return of the Jedi of tonight. Jedi, yeah. Yes, we are. So that's exciting. It's yeah, Dilly, we're gonna get you? into that a little bit later. No, I know, in but I want to know: Did Dilly watch I'm it? I'm a little nervous. I know because I'm here. For, I'm here for him. <laughs> I'm a little basically. nervous. You didn't watch it. I feel like Bird has a lot of questions Dude, that are easy uh, questions. Bird has stumped me, been texting me for weeks now. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, getting ready for this, and she's like, "I'm gonna go kind of easy on the questions." Yep. But Please. what makes it sad is that she's like, "If he misses these." I don't know how he. I don't think can. he's allowed to come next Thursday. That's exactly. what I think happens. No. She will. I might miss you. him on purpose so I can have a week <laughs> off. Yeah. Maybe you won't be able to come to the movie event. Yeah. Okay, now I'm feeling the pressure a little bit. Yeah. No TBG. We'll take who? We'll take your shirt away. Yeah, you got to sit so in there without a shirt. Your nipple. That's yeah. what, what happens. Get that to is them nip nip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the punishment is you have to be there without a shirt if you yeah. don't get enough questions right. Yeah, like I had to be on Christmas uh Christmas Eve, mammy. Remember I told Look, you. as long well, as they're multiple the after if they're multiple yeah. choice, well, we're good. don't mix up the stories. <laughs> Maybe you need to get the after dork hear that story. Okay, so That's what do we got time. here? What are, are we, we doing? Are we recapping? Yeah, let's get a recap of last week. So, yeah, last week that we learned that um, Cheese gets really bothered by lack of chest hair in her James Bond movies. That's true. This <laughs> is weird because there can be too much. There's no. got to be a balance. You no, can't no, just say chest hair. No, no, no. I agree that there can be too much. But like Tom Selleck is like, like the perfect. That's like you your bar. Like you should always strive. That's like a max. I feel like that's, that's a, a lot, though. You that's should max. always strive for that. Mm-hmm. That No, that's max. But you should want to be near Do it. Do you feel that Tom Selleck has probably the most... Uh, famous mustache of all time. Yeah, I can't I think, think of so. anybody else. Maybe Burt Reynolds was always known with a mustache, mm, but true. Tom Selleck and is... a lot of Chester. Yeah, but God, Tom Selleck is so much better looking. We were talking about Tom Selleck's mustache at work, and he's and my got boss those was dimples, like, man. I think his mustache is the most famous yeah, mustache. Probably. Of all. I mean, it was a beautiful mustache. Yeah, beautiful. Magnum. PA. Anyway, sorry, Chester has a beautiful push broom. Mm. <laughs> I mean, but Wyatt Earp and Tombstone. Ooh, sorry. For fake, like for yeah. a roll mustache? Or that was best a great mustache, mustache. Followed by Henry Cavill's Mission Impossible mustache, oh. just because it, it meant so much. <laughs> it did, <laughs> it mean did a lot. so much. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, but yeah. So she loves all that chest hair, but she hopes baby Yotes has some chest no, hair too. No, I did not say that. Yeah, you, were, you did say that. No, I was joking. I think you talked about his little peachy fuzzies. Yeah, that was heck of cute. The cute little hairs on his head. He's cute. He's cute. So, yeah, we did the uh, the, the HH uh, Deep Cuts, Star Wars Retrospective. We covered the Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back. The best one. Shmi says, if dad cuts off your hand, it's a kid's movie, as long as it's on a pillowcase. (laughs) Yeah. We covered a little bit of that. That is true. I was going to say. You guys got into it pretty good. Based on you guys talking about that, I went and looked it up. Like, what was the intention, you know? And uh, Lucas says 12, but he was talking more about the prequels, which I can definitely see. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, but I think that, like, Harry Potter, you're supposed to grow with the movies, you know? So mm-hmm. if you're 12 watching Harry Potter 1, you're like 18 when the last one comes yeah, out. Yeah, but that's... it's to- I agree with that because the books did that. Mm-hmm. They grew with it, but Star Wars was... I just think that you're supposed to be a I little think he older was, I th- with the second one. Right, but I think he was like... Every single time when he make you know, as they make these three or whatever, like that's for the, you know, the younger people of this time. Yeah, but you're talking about like a three year gap in between them. Yeah. So if you're 12 watching Star Wars, you're 15 watching Empire, you're 18. I think it is teenagers. Right. You know, like I think that's a core group. So you can be younger watching it. Plus it was the 80s and we were a tougher breed. Right. Um, Right. To be able to watch stuff. I totally agree with that. I feel like the stuff they were making back then yeah. was way different than what I mean, they do now. I mean, never-ending story. Oh, God. Yeah. So good and so dark. True. Try you. I know. Try you! Try uh, you. God, why is this all... Why are the recaps always about me? Because you're, you're the, the most worst. important person on the show. Because you're the worst. Shh. It's because you're the most important Thank person you. on that the show. That is true. No, she's the worst. Turn off that mic the over worst. there. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> But we all love Baby Yoda, though, right? Yeah. That, that was pretty much agreed upon. For sure, for sure. 
Everybody loves the oats. Dude, that is like the most popular like memes on oh social my God, they're media. So good. It is. They're Have everywhere. you seen the one where he, you know, when he reaches to use the force, there's yeah. a meme where it's like, where you don't turn the light on in the middle of the night so you can keep the sleep. You know, when you go to the bathroom, that was the meme. And I was like, keep that's really sleep. funny. Oh Which you totally are trying to keep the sleep, yeah. you know? That's funny. Um, I want to talk about a... Uh, we also said that the event was sold out, correct? Ooh. We did. We did mention Is that. Is like an excited out. noise? Um, yeah, so yay. They, the now, event, yay, yay. Do we have that? Um, everything's so mixed up now. That's though. okay. Yeah, the event sold out. We're it. getting really close. It's getting down to the wire. We've got a ton of really cool um, gifts. Yeah, like goodie bag stuff. Stuff that? from Toy Fusion. We got stuff Yay! from Beehive. We got stuff from Birdie and Bean, which is probably psh, straight from Tatooine. Tim Donaldson's going to be at the movie, right? Watching it. Yeah, with we have us. like straight up Star Wars like actors. That's right. so yeah. cool. Super cool. Do you think he's going to dress up or come as a human? I think he'll come as a human. <laughs> yeah. Um, just a up. few. I And I do just want to shout out to our sponsors real quick. Even though I said a few. But Caliber Collision, Crest Theater, Beehive Collectibles, Jackrabbit Brewery, Deep Cut Geeks, Birdie and Bean, oh. Toy Fusion, West Sac Intergalactic Expo, Colossus Girl, Wizard World, Stockton Con, and ARB Digital. I like to say it like that. Digital. Digital. I'm sure that's how they say it in the commercials, right? No doubt. Well, it's or Bobby. I don't Bobby think Bobby they have <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so it's coming up, you guys. We're like, I it's feel a like, week. yeah, it's, it's a week. one week, and we're one week from today. <laughs> All right, now what I want to know, since we're on the Star Wars topic, have you guys been watching any of the previews? Like, I feel they've been saturating this movie. Hard no, I haven't watched any of the pre- any? publicity. I don't want to see them. I watched any, the first couple. But they've been doing like featurettes or other, you know, more. And I, I, I don't watch those. I don't know why, but it makes me nervous that the movie sucks. That they're doing this much advertising for it. Because the Rise or Force Awakens, mm-hmm. not like this. Like you are seeing so many yeah, previews. It's, almost it's like all they over just social give a little, media. Like when they know it's good, they just give you a little bit. And they're like, you just wait and see. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. torn on time, if it's because it's the last. or You know what I mean? Like it's the balance of like. You know. I just wonder if they're like try, they're worried that all that bad press that's been coming out of people saying that they brought in George Lucas because the movie had sucked and all these test screenings aren't going as well as everybody kind of has hoped and they don't want to. I'm not saying it's going to bomb. It's still going to make money, but I don't think it's going to make like gobs of money like Endgame or. Yeah, Infinity well, War. I saw John Boyega had they he got like a little controversy thing because he basically said this one's better than the last one that he didn't like how they had separated the characters that in the original trilogy you were closer to like Luke, Leia, and Han like they kind of worked together more and in that last movie they kind of separated them all out so they weren't yeah, a but unit in, and he said this one is better than the yeah, last. Yeah, but they one. do that like kind of in empire as well they're That's all kind of scattered stuff. yeah they're super scattered well it's like two and one like he luke has his own story it's like i'm gonna bring it back to harry potter um <laughs> of course <laughs> it's like harry potter is the chosen one and the other two are his sidekicks so they're together and then he's doing this exploration thing you yeah, know but if you look at it, it's really two different storylines because of how big kylo ren's name is to how big Ray is supposed to be. Yeah. They're too big. Like, those are supposed to be your two probably anchor. Yeah, you know, so people. who are they wanting together? Like, Finn, Ray. The Finn, Ray, and Poe, as they're like the three, you know? Mm-hmm. But I do get your point. Actually, I hadn't thought about it before that the story focuses on Kylo Ren. And Vader wasn't like a focus no, on the other right. ones. He was he just was the just... bad guy. Well, and when you. When you say that he is supposed to be Han Solo and Leia's kid, he's too big of a character not to be a focal point. Yeah, it's almost like they have four instead of three. Yeah, because like, if you think yeah. about it, it's them too. Like, you know, that's why they did that whole force projection of where they could see one another because it kind of connects them. And then the whole throne room scene really connects them. Mm-hmm. But so I don't know. I think people get lost in it of like, yeah, I want it to be like the originals, but... You know, this is the thing, okay? I don't. Oh, I, do I have to get on here every week with the no, Star Wars crap? No, positive me. <laughs> the thing of it is, is that the I they've just been playing catch up with Star Wars ever since the originals. 
It's never, ever, ever going to live up to anybody's expectations. Dude, never. Yeah, but never. To the they never. Cartridge. It's never going to happen. I promise you. I if guarantee. If they give Favreau his own like that, no, Star that, Wars. That could be something. Because look mm-hmm. at how well Mando is No, this doing. is what, like, exactly. And this is what I, this is also part of my point here, is that Star Wars can be good if they abandon the Skywalker. And I've been saying that for a long time. Let's just move go in a totally forward. New direction. Completely. Yeah, I kind of think of them, and I mean, I don't really think of this new trilogy compared to the other. I'm like, oh, this is its own new thing. Just like the prequels are this, like, dumpster fire. Um, and then the original ones are like great, and then I think the most recent ones I'm fine with. I well, like I the been, most like huge. No, I like the yeah. most recent ones, but it, the thing is, is I'm almost always like satisfied with everything. I'm more talking about the 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 annoying Star Wars fans <laughs> or whatever. The fans that love Star Wars, even though they hate everything Star Wars, Fan except boys. for the three movies. I think it's the idea that the nine of them are linked up, and let's be honest, they really aren't. It's three, it's three, it's three. Right. Like, I mean, like, no, they that's have the definitely sure. thing, yeah. but, yeah. you know, that's they're different definitely. eras. Yeah. But I, I, I just think that they need to just, yeah, it's, I'm glad that this is the last movie they need to just, like, end the, Scar- the Skywalker thing, and then... She almost I, said Michael Skern. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that is. Threat Level Midnight. That's what's good. You've never seen that movie? Threat no. Level Midnight. I looked at you thinking you were going to give me something. You've never <laughs> seen Threat Level Midnight. Wow, Bird. What's this? I do not. Yeah, thank you. Oh, God. Threat Level midnight. Twilight. Buddy, what are we going to do with these two? I don't know. Threat do you know level. who you- Jim Halpert is? Oh, um, from oh God. The Office. I was Bird, trying to remember. you are no, terrible. No, no, no. I was trying to remember the actor's name, Krasinski. Yeah. yeah so I know who it Mike is. Mike Wazowski. Yeah. <laughs> I just watched that. Anyway, um, way to derail. Yeah. Her. So what I'm saying is that I do think Star Wars can be good as long as it's like a new Star Wars, like kind of what like they're doing what with the Mandalorian. With Man- right. yeah. Well, yeah, but mm-hmm. they're yeah, and he isn't even a Jedi. That's what's so fun right. about it. They're just playing in that world. Even yeah, though they're isn't taking Buddy, like everything that was good from, but isn't four, Buddy the one six. who said I don't like Rogue One because there's no Jedi's in it? But all no. of a sudden, he likes the Mandalorian. I specifically remember that from your show. That is true. I did say that. You did say that. But <laughs> I also say why I hate Rogue One as the main character is crap. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like her. But you also said, I don't want to watch a Star Wars movie without but any there Jedi. there is Force because Baby Yoda's got the Force. Right. He could do some things. Are they calling him anything? Oh, just the child. Just is the that child. Child. officially like his name? The child. I don't think he, I mean, I don't think the Mando is going to name him. I think it's just going to be this he thing. He killed looks younglings. <laughs> Old Ben? <laughs> <laughs> that is a good line. That's my 100% top quote of all the Star Wars movies. <laughs> my favorite. I like where he's like, it's a weapon of a Jedi. And he just <laughs> looks down the barrel of the lightsaber like, oh, this thing? They this could have ended that movie and it's a short. Yeah. Push right through his head. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, Force is dead oh, now. Uh, he wasn't the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's an idiot and then he could have been like there's another yeah. and then done <laughs> well I'm Ooh, excited for Thursday been better. though Sorry. to see the end oh yeah, yeah. no I totally agree I uh, would, I'm I excited to hang end. out with my friends yeah another movie event yeah plus it'll be I think it's we saw Star we've seen Star Wars movies together because of my work letting us go to things yeah but I've never really gone with like a group of people outside of like one person to see a Star Wars movie I remember so, yeah, when I saw Force Awakens for the first time Michelle had gotten like somebody bought in like five or six theaters. This company and Michelle got two tickets and we go into one and there's only the front row left. And I'm like, dude, this sucks. And so Michelle's like, let's go two theaters down. I'm like, what if it's even worse? And she's like, can it get any worse than this? We go into like three theaters down. It's half full. And we were just right dead center oh, in the great. middle. It was amazing. But is it as amazing as watching it at IMAX? No. Bird, <laughs> way to make loud noises. Bird, bird. bird if it's is a not word. heard, bird, have you bird, heard? Bird, bird is a word. No, when me and Bird went to uh, Game of Thrones, they replayed season. Oh, it was episode, I think it was season five because it was the wall. It was the last two episodes yeah. of that season. Remember you four. dropped that bottle of wine? I did. In the theater to like <laughs> we roll down We were drinking all the aisles. just off a bottle and Bird had dropped it and it just fell <laughs> clunk, clunk. I was like, clunk, are you clunk, serious? <laughs> clink, clink. Well, it was a weird event. I I got invited to it. I don't think anything like that's ever happened again where they were airing the last two episodes of that season 
and a winery was there. So you just stood in the foyer or that like upstairs part of the IMAX. We drank wine. They gave us a poster. And then we went and watched the last two episodes. Um, but Bird stuck a whole bottle of yeah, wine Yeah, because they were purse. like, if you guys want to take them. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so me and Bird were just passing it back and forth. We killed the bottle. And it, she just kind of kicked it. And it just went Bird. flying down. They let you have multiple bottles. I was like, carry yeah. one other in the purse. Yeah, it was yeah, quite no, good. For sure. But, anyway, all right. Sorry, Red Star or white. Wars. Okay, white? so anyway, um, we've gone on, on a tangent here. It's still a Star Wars tangent. Technically no, for tangent. sure. I think all Star Wars tangents are well, well, cam, well, cam, <laughs> well, cam. Um, so we do have. Let's just go into news. Yeah. Let's, let's just get this going. Yeah, core. let's do correspondent. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, stranger. I've never seen you here before. <laughs> Where am I? And what is this strange place? Bird is not what? really making You're me. You're in Disneyland. <laughs> the most magical. You mean that god-awful place full of snot-nosed children and tomfoolery? Well, when you put it that way, it doesn't seem as fun. But as much fun as a talking rat in a dinner suit. You're not a nice person. I'm really not. I guess the question really is, what event took place in his past that made him hate life so much? Maybe he sold himself as a kid and his parents forced him to wear his underwear inside out. That's nasty. The world may never know. What? So, oh, no. Tigra and Dassler. Who? Yeah, I won't be upset if you guys forgot about this show. Their writing staff and showrunner were all fired. Oh. Chelsea Handler is the only name still attached, which means it hasn't been canned, but it's also not looking good. Hellstrom, Howard the Duck, Modoc, and Hitmonkey are all still on track for release on Hulu, which means all of the Hulu shows aren't being canceled. But it's not looking good for this X-Men West Coast Avengers mashup that no one really knows were characters from those properties. I don't even know who you are. Warner Brothers had a couple of confirmations this week. The Flash has been given a date, which means WB finally has a script they feel works with Andy Muschietti and Ezra Miller's Flash movie. <laughs> Previously, this movie has been contested to the point that speculation was it wasn't going to be made. Now that it has a release date, though, that means WB has faith in the movie enough to proceed forward. Also in Warner News, The Matrix was given a release date of May 21st, 2021. I know Kung Fu. Which means it's coming out the same day as Wickles 4. But now, yeah, I'm thinking on Wickles 4? And Keanu in the same day. Oh, sorry, I yelled. Bold move, Warner. Bold move. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. DC finally dropped the trailer for Wonder Woman 84, and it's exactly that. Super 80s. Malls, shoulder pads, big hair, it's totally rad. Totally rad! Pedro Pascal's Maxwell Lord seems pretty well adapted, and Gal Gadot, well, she's still hot and kicking ass like always. What I'm not getting is Chris Pine's Steve Trevor back from the dead in the 80s. He died during World War I. I just hope the explanation pays off. Oh, and her eagle armor is freaking insane. Dude! That was badass. Ghostbusters Afterlife finally dropped the trailer, and I wasn't disappointed. I collect spores, molds, and fungus. It doesn't seem like a comedy that's trying too hard with some action horror elements. The way the trailer is playing out, I'm hoping it follows the formula the original had, and that it's a horror film that has comedic elements to it. Something that could never ever possibly destroy us. Mr. Stay Puft. We see Spangler's grandkids after his death, which is a great way to write off Harold Ramis, by the way. Inheriting his old stuff, and ghosts returning. Cool story, bro. Also, theories on the internet are ablaze about Easter eggs pointing to the cult of Gozer, which was the focal point of the first film. My inner nerd is screaming, jumping for joy in so many ways right now. There is no only soul. Well, that's it for me this week, Sidekicks. Keep it going in the Sidekick Sanctorum, and remember, if you're a walking, talking, adventuring mouse, <laughs> just be careful about not eating every bit of candy you find in the wild. Let's not forget, you're still a rodent. And some pellets might take you to a place that you may never come back from. But did you die? People hire exterminators for a reason. Especially when they see giant mice. No matter how friendly you are. <laughs> White Ranger out. Did you die? Jeez, did we need to do the parm alarm before that? Parm alarm! <laughs> parm alarm! Everybody get ready, it's the farm alive!
The last part's my favorite. Yeah. I know. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. you really, you really bring it. I really Thank bring you, Philippe. It's been you know, correspondent. Oh. Dilly is a beautiful yeah. singer. No, beautiful. I love your runs. Beautiful voice. I mean, Thank they're you. great. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. You know. Okay, so what do we got? So Phil, um, you know, talked about Marvel Studios. You know what I really want to talk about? Are we bypassing that? Well, we can talk about that, but the Ghostbusters trailer, you guys. Yeah, I'm How stoked on that. About that, dude. I feel really good about are you, it. Are you steamed? I think that this is what they needed, should have done. You know, when they if they were uh, going to bring back Ghostbusters, is it gonna hit. I think it's hella gonna hit because yeah. it's it's all you know. I mean, not only because it's got the Stranger Things. Kid That's in funny. There, That's the one thing I don't like. But uh, I, don't I actually kind it's of like, agree with that. I'm over him. But it Seriously. gets that crowd. Like we're in no. for Ghostbusters, right. but right. 14 year olds. Yeah. Love him, love him. But and like you guys, the whole we already hair. had him in it. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. And we don't need his it. whole like joke. Like, hey, remember that time we all died under the table? And you're like. No, well, that's just in the trailer. Yeah. Just, you need to wait for that. But the thing of it, this is, I'm sometimes can be a little where I'm like. Haterade? No, no, no. Sorry, I was also. Oh, yeah, I can be haterade. <laughs> hell like you're, you always be drinking that haterade. But more than anything, it's Steve like, Austin. I just really like, um, you know, I'm happy for this kid. He got, he's that's true. growing a movie career out of Stranger Things and that makes me happy for him. And so. he's I'm just worried he's okay. going to be the next Macaulay Culkin. Oh, I was going to say he's like Ham from Sandlot that I don't think he's going to grow into that face. I know. And we're not going to see him when he's like 30. No. You know? No. And, so, and that's why he needs mm-hmm. to get, so I get that money in. now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's hopefully he's money. saving his money. He's that awkward, like teen looking yeah. stage. And he's probably going to be know, his really... parents are really banking that. Yeah. Though. Yeah. They're well, like, when at, you're 18, uh, we'll, we'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah. You look at, uh, what's Just his name? Got super ugly when he got older. Was, Shia LaBeouf? Uh, well, no. He's right behind you? Yeah. He's walking <laughs> through the <laughs> woods at <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. Um, <laughs> damn it. Now I forgot. What movie Are you talking was, about Feldini? What? Oh, Fel, yeah, Feldman? Oh, about um, Fel? What's oh. his name from Superbad? Oh, Jonah Hill? No. Michael Sarah? Michael Sarah's yeah, ugly. But he yeah. looks the same. He no, was ugly then. The thing is, he's always been ugly. Yeah. No, him in Arrested Development, he was cute back then. What? what? He had like Who the little curly hair. About? He wasn't that bad looking. But he, he was wow. like a, a cuter kid. He, he was not as ugly as Now he he's like straight ugger. Yeah, he was always oddball though. <laughs> he I was mean, oddball. That yeah. was why he was cast because yeah. of that face. Yeah, right. but at least he was like semi okay looking. Yeah, but the thing with Michael Sarah is he's. Because he started off kind of weird looking, he's been ever to, he's been able to ride that yeah, weird looking. He just rides the weird. These kids, when they're <laughs> cast as kids, and kind of cute, mm. and they don't stay cute, they're uh, gone. Think of Haley Joel Osment because you guys watch the boys, right? And he's in there, and he's that in- does not look like the kid from uh, Wait, which, Six Sense. Six Sense. Thank Wait, you. Wait, which? Oh my God, that's right. You know, right? He which one? Who? He's like, out a little bit. Filled out. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> Dude, he's got five. Haley Joel Osment. Dude, he was the, the guy. The kid from Sixth Sense. Yeah, he no, was but Mesmer. Who is he in Mesmer. The Boys? Mesmer. Where he could touch you and, and it, like. Remember when they go to his apartment and they're kind of forcing him into doing oh, it? With the girl yeah. and they break his hands? That's Haley Joel He's Osher chunker, from Sixth bro. Sense. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Yeah. Chunker. He the is a chunky monkey. Yeah. And he just looks completely different. Like, yeah. you can still see it. Go back. You can still see that kid. Yeah, no, you yeah, can. Yeah, he's in there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> he ate him. Right? Uh, but I think this one is totally playing toward the nostalgia kind of Stranger Things-esque. Right. You but know? do you like that uh, they snapped the fingers and just dissipated the all-girl one? I don't mind that because I feel like it's another universe, basically. Because I didn't like... I didn't mind that they're... Because the girls, and I mean, it's like a daughter that's clearly the one or granddaughter that's connecting to find, you know what I mean? Like in, in like she's going into the basement. Right. So it's still a, it's a girl they're using, but they're not doing this whole, let's do the I exact know. same yeah. movie over again and pretend like that never happened to do the same story. But I like that they which doesn't work. tied it back of being like, oh, in the 80s, this was. No, for which sure. Which makes me think Love they're going to use the dog. Like it looked like the dog, like the yeah. dozer or you yeah. know like on the, his car yeah i just think it's not gonna be as funny as the original one well right and i was gonna say that i don't think it's meant to be but you know if you watch the first like one it kids. is kind it is funny but it's it's not like what they tried to do with the girls ghostbuster like like a comedy like yeah. that even though it was they still had like some elements that were a little darker and this is definitely like it yeah, a, they were a darker comedy. Even the second dip, one yeah. has like a bit more funny, but it's still dark. Right, but with the girl Ghostbusters, they just totally hit the mark on yeah, that. Yeah, it's it like bright colored exactly. and funny. And you were like, right. all right, just write another movie. I know. I, I just know. feel like yeah. they're turning it into like 
almost like a Stranger Things. Oh, it totally that's Ghostbusters But that's what people show. like now. I mean, that's kind of the feeling I got. I didn't know if we were going into that or if it was like the next Transformers movie or something. That's how yeah. it felt. It was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You start hearing all those noises. Yeah. Like, this doesn't feel like Ghostbusters. The like music the old sounded- Ghostbusters. But... It does look cool. It's just like kids coming of age. Right. And again, I think this is also another thing, you know, tying back to Star Wars is like they're making Ghostbusters for like the next, but the if, younger If generation. we get the, the the original cast they are minus some, I mean, that's enough for me. Like right. I'm in, I'm right. in on that. I did think the music in this, like, I feel like I've heard that from other trailers or other movies, you know? And so I was like, oh, all right. Yeah, it seemed kind of a little bit trendy, I guess, right. the, way they, the way they did it. No, I don't. I think it's going to hit. I think people are going to like it. I think I'm going to like it already. Yeah, I'll totally see it. I, I mean, anything's better than the last one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. God. And I hate when people so like bad. when they try to come out, oh, well, it's because you don't like women. It's like, no, come no, up with a new story or tie them together somehow. Well, and the thing is, too, is I'm like... You know, I'm always going to like support or defend women, especially to you two. But like that was a terrible movie. Yeah. You He-Man woman haters. And even like I think Kate McKinnon is is, like (laughs) so funny. Like I love Kate McKinnon, but it's like she was just eh, in that movie. It was. I mean, I think it was the whole concept. They were good. It wasn't going to pull. I didn't like they were using not the same script, but let's take this story and spin this exact same story. Right. And it's like, we'll just do something else. Right. You got all this money. I mean, he did have Chris Hemsworth, which was hilarious. Yeah, that actually was the only good part. Yeah, but if he's the highlight, like right. that's... Right, yeah, <laughs> it's not good. It's hard to not be the highlight so, when you're that good looking. What about the Wonder Woman trailer? How'd you guys feel? It looks pretty sick, actually. Yeah. She, she's I'm so hot. God, she is ridiculously hot. She's high. almost too pretty. Plus being an 84. I don't think it's hot. Like, I'm, oh, I'm what? No, I think it's just pretty like she's oh gorgeous no, she's hot like she's gorgeous not. but super hot when she stepped out of that oh uh, the, the dress, white dress yeah. <laughs> and her legs oh my god <laughs> Britney spears wish she had gotten out of the car like that dude she's hot dude. what do you mean every woman wish she got out of the car like we that? wish we had legs like that mm. why is everybody picking on britney it was a throwback mm. joke I love britney to her getting out of the car without wearing underwear <laughs> and no. the vag was shown yes. um the only problem i have I already re- mentioned this. Bum, bum, bum. It's the shoes. I can't. Why do they put... You said something about wedges or something? She's wearing What's wedges because she's not wearing heels, but they're, they're wedges. wedges so they're wedge have, boots. Why she has to wear wedge boots is beyond me. She's literally like 6'1". Like, she's got to be, right? Like, but she doesn't why, need them. What, in what world would a woman superhero need to wear wedges when you're fighting? Someone drawn by a guy. God, it's so annoying. I need some clarification Kills on this me. wedge thing. What, what's this it's wedge? It's like, so like, this is what... Like, I know what a wedge is, but so can you draw me like a little picture of a... Well, it's just like you put this. a wedge underneath your heel, like that that's shape. That's what it is. And it lifts your... Sh- instead of it having that like stiletto heel... You just okay, wish she had a boot. Yeah. Because heels just are... Because boot. they're supposed to make your leg look better and they're lady... You know, like it's kind of yeah. like, well, this is a lady costume and so she needs to have it be like heels. <sighs> when Captain America just has boots. Exactly. I mean, not to get too into that, but I mean, right. that's And it's why. like, okay, maybe that's how they drew her in the comics. And then so she needs to wear those now, but it's stupid is what it is. Yeah. I mean, they're going back to the comic. It drives me crazy. Is that going to cause you to not see the movie? Oh, God, no. Are you kidding me? I, <laughs> she's so hot, dude. <laughs> she is so I'll hot. see her do anything. Okay. I actually like the trailer. It's a little bit of a weird trailer because I didn't totally get the story. I didn't get the story. But I, which I do like cause because I don't. When was the other one? Wasn't that like World War Two? One. One. So mm-hmm. that guy's still alive? Was he frozen? I, well, that's what we, we don't understand. Yeah, I think he's because of the other guy, right? Like he's like magic or like mm. like he's like, oh, whatever. What's your like heart's desire? And so I think he's there. I just think he's created by that, like the bad guy. Oh, I see. Or whatever. I, almost, okay. I don't know. I mean, obviously, we've done so many 80s movies. It doesn't really matter. It'll be fun. It looks like a little more kind of joking around than the first one. Yeah, it's got but, Kristen Wiig in it. That's an, it's an that's was even when they cast her that was interesting. You know what's casting. hard though because I love Kristen Wiig and 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 I do think she's really pretty, but when you put her next to Gal Gadot, it's like it's a, it's not it's unfair. Well, she's well, not anybody gorgeous. next yeah. to her. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. The only is two people Kristen Wiig is like she's pretty but she's got an interesting like look about her. 
So it's like, even if you put someone like really pretty next to Gal Gadot, but you put the two of them Do together. Do you think you could put Margot Robbie it's next to It's almost like when, I lo- when they I was, showed. I was trying to think of who was equal. Like who could equally as pretty. I think them two, like. I still think it's Gal. Because she has a more sophisticated, oh, like yeah. I said, gorgeous. Where yeah. like She's more of that classic kind of just like. Like she'll She's age, beautiful. yeah, to be beautiful. Like Margot Robbie's just like hot. Boing, yeah, just yeah. super hot. Boing. But but you know when they first showed like Kristen Wiig and then they went to like Wonder Woman when she they went pretty. back when they went back to Kristen Wiig I was like oh no, oh that's so <laughs> mean <laughs> oh you and were she looking good about girl us. then not anymore <laughs> it's like you can't put those it's sucks. it's unfair it's unfair is what it is I wouldn't want to stand next to her that's all I'm saying. They're like, what's up with the shriveled up woman next to her just smelling of cheese? The boxy ch- hair. Is that- <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I was supposed I'm, to say that. I'm posting that. Yeah. No. <laughs> he said you no! boxy. He said you boxy. Who said you had boxy hair? It's, Did I miss this? Uh, no, it's it's it was an inside, inside joke. It's an inside Sorry. joke because we took some, some photos like a photo shoot. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and there was boxy. a photo where my hair looked like a straight no, so square. So Sheila said, she was like, hey, does my hair look boxy? So he showed her a picture. She's like, what the hell? Why didn't you say anything? So she like spruced it up. And then the one picture we wanted to use that was used. with like a square. It had a hair. hard edge on it, dude. If you had a T square. Like a flat top? Like, yeah. Was it like a flat top but on it your head? It just was like. I'll show it to you. It's so good. <laughs> it's so bad. She hates it. Um. So yeah, so that's the inside joke. Boxy. All right, so now we got to put a picture of Shill's box. Yeah, that's no, happen. we please don't post it because <laughs> in the post production, that my hair, you can't see the box. In post production, <laughs> when you soften the edges of it well, before somebody, it went out there to the world, somebody did some uh, photoshopping. Somebody. Like our g- person, the graphic designer, whoever yeah, did well, it. Well, people don't know because they haven't seen him yet. Yeah, We've so, been keeping it on the hush. Uh, yeah, and we're still saying that. But in post production, you cannot see my boxy hair. So it still doesn't need to go out in the world. I put a box in the background. <laughs> <laughs> so if you release the boxy hair picture, 100%, I will release your picture Jeez. that you don't want me to release. Wow. Uh, what I'm saying is if you. Re- it- I'll release mine if you release yours. Oh, oh yes. You know yes. what we should do is like do the panel Maybe. and the photo. Yeah. Like Are you each one's to do that? horrible photo. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. I can do that. See whose is worse. Yeah, yeah. Have do them, a little ranking. Know. Do a poll and be like, yeah. whose is worse? Well, no, Boxy? we'll know who win. Like, who mine's wins? definitely the worst. His is worse. Only mine because... is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Um, but we can't release those photos until after the movie event. Yeah. Got it. More to come on that. All right. Anyway, so what else did you talk about? Uh, News. Related? You talked about the Marvel TV, which I fairly covered. Uh, but also, it is kind of disappointing that they're not doing the Marvel TV because I love The Punisher and Daredevil. Right. Oh, those are so I good. I love Punisher, yeah. And, that, and I don't want them to recast those people. Oh, they were so good. I mean, John Barron thought, like, his roar, nobody's going to no. be able to do that. Like, that's my favorite part. Like, mm-hmm. before he get all bad, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't do it. I was like, I'm not even going to butcher it because I can't do it. But thank you for that. I really appreciate that, Mad Cardigan. Thank you. Um. So, I mean, it is kind of, it. I mean, that sucks because, like, that kind of era of all those shows is over. It's over, and but they really pushed the boundaries of superhero shows. Nobody was doing anything that good until they started it well i think the thing with the shield like i watch shield and the first couple seasons are like not like the first season isn't good oh, uh-huh. and so then the bad. second season is like meh. but once you get to like third and like fourth fifth and sixth are great so mm-hmm. they like kind of found right. like their stride then and I so like the first ones were so campy because they were all like monster of the week, basically. Yeah. But now they have like full arcs. And so like the last couple seasons are great. And I'm like, oh, that's sad that it's over. But also how much farther could you go? Anyway? I know. Right. It's on six seasons. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's that's like it a ran long, its course. That's a long run. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a bummer that they're not doing TV, but I feel like five years we have a whole new. Oh, well, actually, no. Disney Plus has all the TV shows coming out. that mm-hmm. are Marvel. Yeah. Yeah. So also, I'm super excited about um the Matrix 4 and John Wickles 4. The mm-hmm. Wickle Tickle, yeah. I'm super stoked about the Wick Tick. Mm-hmm. Um, I love Keanu, man. God. We should call it Wick Ticks, like Matrix. Mm-hmm. Wick totally. Ticks. Wick if ticks. you could date... Keanu? Yeah. Keanu? Or Jennifer Aniston? Or Jennifer Aniston, who would you pick? Aniston? Jennifer Aniston. Oh, Aniston. She's my number one, dude. Is she really? There's no T in there, though? Just no. Aniston? Uh-huh. Aniston. <laughs> Jen Ann is what I like to call her. Jen Ann. 
Anison. It <laughs> sounds like an airline, Jan Ann. Right. Yeah, I would sounds fly. Sounds like a liquor or something. I'd ride Jan Ann. <laughs> Anison. Port. No, no, Keanu. I'm a hundred percent Keanu. If the if we're all weighing in on this. Wait, oh. over Jen. Is there someone you would pick over Keanu? In life? Yeah, Just sure. It's Val Kilmer. Oh, uh, oh, fat Pat. No. no, no, I'm not fat saying bat? that. Uh, <laughs> fat bat? No. Um, Doesn't he have throat cancer? That boy's yeah, sick. he did. He had cancer. Don't be so insensitive. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, But also Patrick Stewart is like, you know, always. Oh, that's wow. who I okay. thought it was going to be. Patrick Stewart is always. Fat boys. Wait, and an no, old that's, bald guy. So no, that's I'm, I'm very upset of you Patrick. not knowing who Patrick Stewart is. So the Patrick thing is, Stewart. is Patrick Stewart. Oh my God, are you is that serious? Per, is that Picard? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Wait, yeah. Bird. I was thinking of Bird, the other on. dude from Lost Boys. Bird, would you uh, take Patrick Stewart? Michael. Back in the day or like now? You either, would take a 75-year-old. My, my love does not. I don't distinguish oh. between now or then. Okay. So what, okay. You, hold wait, on. No, hold no. no hold stop. On, Mine's on. better. It probably <laughs> looks very similar. If he was like, all right, we can be together, mm-hmm. but you can never wear another card again again. <laughs> Fine. I'll just have to suffer. Wow. Yeah. And you have to be in the sun her, all the time. Yeah. It's a compromise. Bird, would He's you- got to leave his wife. <laughs> <laughs> I was kidding. Bird, would you take Val Kilmer now? Oh. I'm not like a... You know what? Let me see what he looks like in the new Top Gun movie. If he like got stuff together. I don't know what he looks like right now. He has a sure. hole in his throat. I know, but you know, sickness and health. <laughs> <laughs> right? So no, you're getting what? all the Bird, sickness. You're just doing the sickness. Yeah, you're no getting all the there. sickness. Uh, I don't. I mean, yeah, I haven't seen him recently, but yeah, there was a moment where I was like, "Oh, you're not my Huckleberry anymore." I just can't <laughs> believe you'd be so quick to give away the cardigans. And also, Keanu, Patrick yeah. Stewart has been my love since like I was 11 years old. Like, it's kind of gross, but um, no, I he's hot for sure. But I think that. He would, you know, I want. I don't. I I don't understand. It's, you know, it's just his personality. His personality. His his power. His his, power. His lead. But it's not. It's like him as a leader. Him as a captain. Oh, yeah. It's not so much. That's what I like. I mean, he does have a beautiful face. When he was younger, he was gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. And I would hope he wouldn't make me give up cardigans because of the dream. It's obviously sitting around. Buddy's making you give up cardigans. That's true. (laughs) Patrick wouldn't do that. (laughs) Um, But is that we'd sit around and drink Earl Grey together in our cardigans (laughs) with our foster dogs. Oh, he's wearing. He's wearing. Yeah. Would you be like, put on the outfit, the captain's 100%, outfit? 100%. <laughs> yeah, he, and he totally fosters dogs, which is... I'd be fine with the X-Men outfit, too. <laughs> 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 wheelchair? <Yeah. laughs> just, getting okay. yeah, just getting it. Yeah, just getting in the wheelchair. He's like, hop on, bird. Yeah. <laughs> you ready to go, bird? <laughs> okay, so... So, Dilly, who would you pick? Yeah. Jennifer, Jennifer? Aniston or Keanu? Or Keanu. Oh, Aniston? Anison. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Anison. Wait, so Jan Ann. What am I to Jennifer like Anison or Keanu Reeves? As life, a, life partner. As a, as a, a lover. Partner. As a lover. Yeah. Lover, life partner. Because the thing I'm, is, is if you pick Keanu I'm I'm trying to be the Bill to the Ted. Exactly. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna go with my boy Keanu. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is you guys could go fight crime yeah, together. I'm like I totally fell out of my armor, bro. Like <laughs> yeah. Well, could you imagine yeah. if like somebody beat up Dilly? He's like, who? Who was it? Yeah, who yeah. was it? I'm going to go kills John. their whole family. I'm going to go John Wickles. <laughs> yep. The question is. I would tell is, him it was like somebody else I just didn't like. And <laughs> you just have set him off. Everybody. <laughs> the bad part is like, my brother house. would lose it. He'd be like, who's your new best friend? <laughs> who's your new life partner? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that. You know? That the Bill and Ted movie will now set its date for... Um, oh, right. After is these? Is it May 4th yeah. again? <laughs> or what's the date that it comes out? The Matrix? Oh, I don't Are know. we doing an event for that? Ooh. The John Wick one we should do an event That'd be for. fun. All right. So let's get into Star Wars. Okay. The Return of the Jedi. The Ray turn? The Ray. The Ray turns? Yeah. So, Return of the Jedi, let's get into it. The um, Star Wars, uh, oh my gosh, why can't Retrospective. I? Retrospective. Gosh, I'm it's a big word. <laughs> you, know, you know me, I can't uh, read so well. The words are difficult. They get jumbled. Of the speech. Mm-hmm. Ah. So, we're talking everybody about. Everybody watch it this week? Return of the Jedi? Did everybody, yeah, recap and watch it so yeah. they're prepared? Oh, I, I watched did. it twice. A let's bit. see a round of I hands. I tried. Twice. I like watched it a couple times, but 
Yeah. But what? Like 20 years ago? He, he fell asleep. <laughs> he fell asleep. So, but I thought, yeah, I took another gander. Did you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So was, is this one, is this anyone's favorite? I mean, cause there's kind of like, so this one comes out in 83 and then I think it's kind of a t- toss up for people is usually this one or Empire is their favorite. Oh, Empire when, yeah, all day. When you agree? Empire is always my favorite, yeah. but usually yeah, everybody's Empire. second favorite is always Return. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I feel like my coworker who was a big Star Wars nerd, um, we had had a discussion before that depending on your age, sometimes like younger people than us, slightly younger, um, like people in their 20s, they might be Return of the Jedi. And the yep, sense yep. that they were younger, they saw that was like the bigger and the Ewoks kind of yep, brought yep, right, right. kid. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I do think because Empire is my favorite, but <laughs> so this is good. the second as in the Die Hard first and the third one. Like I think the interchangeable depending on some people say three. Yeah. Is like, I just feel like most people always say two, but there are the people that do say three. And the reason why is because Luke finally comes into his own in Mm -hmm, three. mm -hmm. He's got the all black, like he's a badass in this movie. And I kind of feel like he overshadows finally Han Solo. Like Han Mm -hmm. Solo is a badass in A New Hope. He's a badass in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah, he's like the adult. And yeah. Luke, Luke's still figuring yeah, out. Yeah, totally. he's still a kid yeah. trying, you know, and he keeps, you know, Han Solo keeps bailing him out. You know, he's like, you owe me two now, kid. Mm-hmm. And so like three, he finally becomes, you know, a Jedi. He's in the all black outfit. He saves Han Solo. He saves everybody. Like, it's just this big moment for Luke. And it's so early in the movie that it's, you know, really cool because that part where he's about to, you know, walk the plank and I'm he's just him. like, you know, free us or die. And he's just like, what? And everybody's like, what's going on? You know, something's about to happen. Right. Mm-hmm. But when you see him jump off and then he just goes back and you see the lightsaber come up, you're like, oh, this is about to get badass. Yeah. There's like a completely different confidence with him right. at the beginning. Like in this yeah. movie, yeah. Like, oh, okay. Like we've progressed uh-huh. to that. Um, and I do think this one has a, I mean, I like Empire the best. I think story wise, I think it has a lot more character development, but now they're all kind of developed by the time mm-hmm. you get to Return of the Jedi. Right. And so I think it has like an epicness, like it has different stages. Mm-hmm. Like you're in, yeah, I think you're on the second Death Star at the beginning and then it's on Tatooine and it's on Endor and it's, uh, but you they're know, going the back to places, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. But it's just, he immediately walks up and, you know, he tells, you know, like he gets those guards to pretty much move Mm -hmm. and he's just kind of like using his powers. Then you see him destroy this huge beast. Uh, I forgot the name of it, but like you just see all these things and you're like, man, like who is this guy? Because he hasn't been like that in either of these movies. He's just kind of been this whiny kind of kid trying to figure it all out. So I think that's why so many people kind of, they're like, that's my you know, my Luke Skywalker. And the big thing is you see his new lightsaber and his lightsaber looks badass, Mm -hmm. but you just see him kick it on and that's green. And you're like, wait, hold on. Right. Like they don't say anything. He didn't, you know, make his own lightsaber. So, you know, that wasn't a, I feel a thing back then. You didn't really know about somebody making one or anything like that. I think that's why a lot of people gravitate towards three. Right. Well, I like three. Um, I don't know. I actually like last time when we talked, I was talking about, um, you know, I, I like the beginning of things. So like A New Hope is like my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, but I also like when it's the very end of this and it kind of, you know, just like wraps up with him and Darth Vader and, you know, how he kind of like ends up like Darth Vader ends up being, you know, like Luke's trying to pull him over to the light a little bit. Right, and he, you know, like, I like that part of it, kind of. I love the speeder bike scene. I thought that was super cool. Like, growing up, uh, like, Mm -hmm. I love the sound of it, and just, like, how they're kind of, like, fighting and, like, ducking through trees and all this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, that's the Endor. The Battle of Endor, Dude, Endor, I love all the Endor. Did you ever have an issue with the Ewoks? I mean, I know people have issues with the Ewoks, and I didn't then, growing up. Who was... You What's know, because the they're like, flo- you know, it's it's all the cuteness. It's the same thing. Some people well, didn't like last, porgs. We had discussions week, yeah. of why people like Baby Yoda so much because people have not liked Ewoks. You know, right. it's just more of like, 
it's hard because like you'll see them beat up, you know what I mean? Like stormtroopers that are like legit men Mm -hmm. and it's like these little teddy bear looking things. But that's totally the element like as we talked about adult or kids, I think as opposed to like Disney films where they're for kids, but they bring in these elements that adults appreciate and laugh at. I think these are more adult movies where they put in kid stuff. And sometimes that creates a little bit of a weird, cause you also see them like beating them up. Imagine if this was like a rated R movie where you could see the blood and they're eating storm, oh, you know, yeah. like it'd be like a crazier thing, but they right. add them because like kids will love them. Especially like, Oh, we can't beat uh, in Mando. They can't beat the ATST. And they're like, we can't beat it. What do we do? And then in Return of the Jedi, they just have two thing, two logs. Oh yeah, boom, <laughs> smash it, done. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's just kind of funny to yeah, how they kind of you know are able to beat this huge army like it's nothing. Right. No, oh, yeah, it's definitely. But, but it's also point. the wrap up of the movie. Like they were gonna have to. Blame. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't mind them as much as people like I hate them. Yeah, there are I people. Just, who- Really? I love, they're so cute. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, yep. They changed that song. But it's probably... Yeah, why? Why did George Lucas change a lot uh, of that song? This is also the one that they did most of the changes to. Like, there's added scenes. I went online and looked at the comparison from, like, the 1983 movie to, like, the DVDs, like, when Anakin gets, like... Oh, uh, so stupid. So bad. Because also, how would he know what he looked like as a young person? Yeah. That's right. the part I don't get is I'm like... yeah. Wouldn't he recognize yeah, his Yeah, he'd be dad? like, who is that guy? Who's that 19-year-old? <laughs> you know, like, it's just, or 20-something, but, like, it's just weird. Well, and also because he knew his dad as, like, a burnt-up head. Yeah. Not- so if you saw some bald, <laughs> older dude, you might gather that that's your dad's, right. like, force ghost. Yeah. Who's this 19-year-old kid that's <laughs> younger than me now? I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that you know what I mean? You think yeah, but it. that, I think, yeah, and then they changed the song. This is the movie that they did a lot of changes to kind of connect them to i think the prequels right if yeah. i remember correctly uh so which annoying. are just so, and some of the things are so pointless yeah like why mm-hmm. like why even do it like some of the aliens they add in and some yeah. of the scenes it's like why that literally didn't need to be put in was that all lucas that wanted yeah, to do yeah. That? Mm-hmm. what'd you think about lando with uh with a falcon i was fine with that i like him like i think his character is great i think he's a cool addition with empire and that Han Solo has this it kind of creates a connection with Han Solo of like who he was before but like he and he's equally as capable as like a pilot you know? no and I think it's kind of fun that you know like he does that whole joke of like you know you can use my ship it's fast as ship don't worry about it he's like I know what it means to you but then like Han kind of gets that like well yeah nervous? maybe yeah maybe I shouldn't let you do it you yeah. promise not a scratch like that fun kind of banter between the two of them because you realize like how much the ship does mean to him. You know, it's not just, you know, some ship. Like, you realize the connection. And then when they pull it again in Force Awakens, you can just really see in his character how much that ship just means the world to him. And it's kind of funny. That was the part where I thought, because in Han Solo, or, or Solo, the movie, you know, they... um you know, he kind of like wins it or there's like an animosity between mm-hmm. them, which it's like kind of there, but kind of jokey in empire yeah. and still more of a joke, which is like, then when you see the other one, you're like, so they've not, haven't seen each other since like supposedly solo. And they like, and Lon- Lando was like done with him. Yeah. But like that's they not, hated one another. That's not what empire strikes back seems like. It's like they have like a, their little smuggler mistrust, but like it's friendly. Yeah. They have like a fun banter back and forth. Where in yeah, like solo, it's like they, like, screw you. You screwed me over. I hate right. you. Look what you did to my ship. Yeah. But I am excited, bringing us back to the current movie, of Lando being in this. Mm-hmm. I like his character. Yeah. I think he's fun. I oh, like Lando. Like, I, th- I think he's, like, witty. I think he was a cool addition. It was this. cool they brought him back in Rebels. Yeah. Oh. Are you still watching that, Shmi? Mm, no. Really? <laughs> haven't. No. I haven't been there. I've I been st- watching. I started, though. But I started it. Off. And I've been watching all of the Star Wars movies leading up Clayton to this episode. So well, so. I don't want to admit anything on air because I don't want to give Clayton. I'm a, I would like text Mel secretly because I don't want Clayton to know if I'm watching it or not. Creighton. Yeah. Turn I did Creighton start it. I just had to Cray-bay? refocus. So, Cray-bay. You know. Cray-bay. Um, What was the so other? So do we. 
Oh. Birds got more. Uh, no, this was just, I just wanted to remember the order of the movie. Uh, was that how it starts with the uh, slave Leia? Yeah. Oh. That happens. And I think Ooh. we have completely different views on that because like you had the issue, like we, the, you guys talked about the bra thing right. to a certain extent issue. Like, but I was just like, I don't know how she became the slave and like the other ones just all went to a dungeon. Like she <laughs> couldn't have dressed up like Lando and put like a mask over her face, you know? <laughs> Um, and also, she's wearing a bra. Yeah, one slave Leia is wearing a it's bra. Definitely a bra. <laughs> oh hell! No. Um, but it's just a little. Jabba the Hutt mm. has always been super creepy for me, and so, I mean, maybe they didn't want to be so creepy. Like that wasn't their like goal initially. That he was just like a gangster or whatever. But I think he's disgusting. He's so and gross. so it's like it might be hot, and I know it's like you know probably. You know, a uh, lot of men sexual awakening yeah. for many a 14 year old or something. But for me, I was just like, this is disgusting. Um, And so, yeah, even when I rewatched it, I was like, right. It's I very still can't wait for this part to be over. Well, yeah, because she's like, also Leia's great. Like she fights. She kills Jabba the Hutt. But she's got to do it with like half an ass. Exactly. Showing, you know? Seriously. Oh, and they have to put her in that awful. outfit and she's changed. It's just like. Come oh, so on. Hot. The thing is, I don't totally mind it if I didn't think it was just more of George Lucas being a creepo. And that's, you it know. It might have been, but you're still hot. Oh, yeah. And that guy's a total creepo, he dude. curved out on this one. <laughs> he had a real thing for Carrie Fisher. <laughs> Nothing's yeah. worse I think that than in this thing. one. Than a new a hope. Dude, her boobs are bouncing around that whole movie. The thing is, is that's got to be uncomfortable. Sorry. Those jello jigglers. <laughs> Sweater yams. <laughs> no, the thing of it is, is I think if it's a woman's oh, choice bird. not to wear a bra, more power to her. Yeah, but if sure. it's a man telling her that she can't wear a bra. So you're telling me I'll if punch the a director man in the face. was like, hey, Gal Gadot, you can't wear a bra on this. I mean, movie. she wouldn't because she as a she director would be outraged. <laughs> I know, but I'm just saying. I would be outraged, but also. She'd be like, you could let this one slide. I'd enjoy it. <laughs> she would just ask for exactly. her own personal <laughs> cut of the movie. Right. And then the one that goes out to the world, she gets to have a bra. <laughs> Exactly. I can't believe I called you cheese. I feel bad about myself. Good job. Um, well, cheese. You, know, just you don't want to call me cheese. I just, I, I've just known you before the cheese. Yeah. When you were just, you know, milk. La know. cheese. <laughs> <laughs> she was, was just good. a curd. <laughs> a little curd. Before I, I like, um, when aged you were milk yeah. into before a fine, um, stinky cheese. Yeah. I did a bring fine Gouda. Lindbergh. Now I wish I hadn't like Lindbergh, messed my yeah. papers up. I had something because I looked up like facts about. Um, I thought you had questions. I had questions for Dill. Is that for is... this or is this for After Dark? No, it was for this episode. Yep. Um, right. The only thing I had were there were a couple weird little facts about the making of the movie uh-huh. where that when they made it because they didn't want spoilers, it was referred to as Blue Harvest instead um. of. Return oh, is that Jedi? where Family Guy yeah, got, it. got it from? Oh, that's so funny. So they said it was a horror film and everyone had T-shirts that said Blue Harvest on them. And it was horror beyond imagination <laughs> was what they said. And so I think it's funny that they went so far to right. try and do that. Yeah. And then um, and then what was the other? Oh, and then because they were trying to trick people on one of the scripts, they revealed Lando to be the person Yoda alluded to in Empire Strikes Back as no, there's another that he was a oh. Jedi. That's one of the scripts they put out there. So if that leaked, it was. Oh, amazing. I see. Yeah. And then the other was Yoda was not intended to be in this film. But Lucas talked to some like child psychologist and said that kids who watch the movie wouldn't be able to comprehend the whole Darth Vader's Luke's father twist, like without somebody who they like trusted telling them. So like, I guess it goes back to Yoda and him being kind of all knowing when he's like, yes, he's your father. They're like, oh, this is real. You know, so it's a for, green made guy for kids. Said it. It's that made was for the kid part then. that uh, solidifies for you. Huh, uh, <laughs> no. The other thing was that Luke <laughs> they made choices based on no. what children are going <laughs> right. to. Your father like doesn't the cut off your hand. Won't understand. Yeah, that's why it's it's a mix, you know, uh, for the kids and adults. But the other thing that I didn't realize, I had thought they didn't do Luke and Leia as siblings in the first movie, but that's what he planned on. But he didn't. They weren't siblings in Star and New Hope or Strikes Back. He was going to have a sequel trilogy, not the one we're watching Thursday, uh, but another one with Luke where he goes on a journey to find his long lost sister. So it wasn't supposed to be Leia. Um, But then they wanted to tie everything up with Return of the Jedi. And so they made them siblings because it was so clear that she was going to go with Han Solo. Okay. Um, So I thought that that was a... That is um, interesting. I mean, who would you pick? 
Yeah, a hundred percent, Harrison Ford. Why he ask Luke? Yeah, <laughs> old <Ooh>, bean. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's funny too because there are weird things in those first two movies where it's like, oh, it's a love one? triangle, right. and they yeah. totally the allude one. to it yeah. in yeah. in Return of the Jedi when Han's like, "You love him, don't you?" And she's like, "Yeah, you know." But it's like, oh, he's my brother. Yeah. Which makes all those weird kisses. I know. Odd. God, I hate rewatching it knowing that they're brother and <laughs> yes. sister. Uh, and then I hate it so much. Stop kissing them. I'm just Good a luck. Yeah. Yeah. Because in the first one, she, she full on kisses smooches, him on the cheek. Yeah. Yeah, no, so Empire's where Empire's he really like gets him. Yeah. She just gives him a kiss out of nowhere. And, like, and he's all like into her and stuff. <laughs> yeah. He like puts his hands behind his head. He's like, yeah, that's right. I got a kiss from right. him. Right. Oh. Ugh, gross. Old so, Bean? Um, old Bean? The last like two I sister. have is just that when they did the indoor scenes here in California, up in the Redwood Forest, that when Chewbacca was, when Peter Mayhew was dressed up, they had crew escort him so people up there didn't mistake him as Bigfoot. Um, <laughs> That's funny. Like out there in the forest. That's awesome. And then that Han Solo's fate at the end of Empire Strikes Back was left ambiguous because Harrison Ford, they weren't sure if he was going to return for, for return oh. of the Jedi. Um, but he did, but he campaigned for Lucas to kill him off in Return of the Jedi. And instead mm. they killed him off in spoiler alert, Force Awakens. Who are you spo- spoiler uh, alert for? Because you, you haven't seen Especially it. Especially for you. you. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> looking Solardo. at me right now. So he's been wanting. So I just think it's funny that in the most recent, when that happened, it was like shocking. But Harrison Ford's been trying to get that since 1983. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he's been one out for a long time. You know what I find interesting? Which is funny, though, because he always still wants to do Indiana Jones, but he doesn't want to be Han Solo. I love Indiana Jones. I can see from his perspective. He's well, the he's star. The, yeah, he's the, he's the main. Yeah, no, that's his main, main man. I know, but if you really look at Star Wars, like everybody loves Han Solo. No, sure. yeah, everybody does. He's that lovable, like, anti-hero. But I have a question. Do you? Real so quick. Harrison Ford, real quick, you guys. So Harrison Ford, and I just want to like um, you use a con- um, comparison, like Patrick Stewart, right? He's he, as he's gotten older, hot he's, AF. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, he's super hot AF, but he actually is still an amazing actor. Harrison Ford, I feel like when I watch him as a younger person, is a good actor. He's a terrible actor now as an old per- He can't act anymore. I mean, he hasn't done as much, but, but he's so bad. In his acting, like his acting is I mean, bad. Is he ever that great though? Yeah. Are, but you, are you telling me decent. like get off my plane wasn't uh, amazing for you? <laughs> but I, I feel like he was decent. Like when I watch the old <laughs> I, Star I, I Wars, did, I, I'm like, okay, that's I, I Han disagree. Solo. But when I watch him being like Han Solo now or like um, he didn't Indiana Jones, I'm like, though. that's Harrison Ford. Like he doesn't. But like Indiana Jones was the- literally the only thing he was decent in. I mean, I'm sure there's a couple others, but. What? Bird? Yeah. You didn't like him in um, Blade Runner? That was mm. great. I mean, you, yes, I did. But that's I'm also not saying. The 70s. Or The I mean, Fugitive? If you look at his whole body of work. Yeah, the, the Fugitive Dr. was Dr. Awesome. Richard Kimball? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, I love I love I that, that movie. you knew his name because all uh, I knew was I didn't kill my wife, and I was like, uh, I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your care. daddy and what is he <laughs> okay, doing? Okay, you know what? I'm not saying that he's always been a great actor. I'm saying that his acting skills have gotten worse as he's gotten older. Yes. And I don't find that in a lot because of other actors. he doesn't actors. need any money. Let's and they just bread. keep begging him and begging him and begging him to come back. Because you put his name on it and everybody will go see it. Yeah, I mean, I can't think of a movie he's done. I mean, I can remember the last Indiana Jones. Ugh, so ba- wiped that so off bad. the face of the world. They well, well that's what I'm saying. He's in it and he's in acting this Star so Wars, bad. But I don't know what he's done in between those, honestly. Yeah. But I mean, you think the he's new rusty? Blade Runner. But I just think that, yeah, I mean, Patrick Stewart is like a Shakespearean actor. Yeah. Like, who, you know, I mean, so. it's uh, that, and agreed. Like, that's not a com- good comparison. Well, you can't compare those. No, two. you can't compare their actual acting like skills. But what I'm just saying is, like, Patrick Stewart has lost at, none of um, his skill. I think a good comparison would be Bruce Willis and Harrison Ford. Yeah, that works. Bruce Willis is still a good actor. <laughs> what has he done lately, though, that you're like, oh, my God, about? Yeah. No, I think he's just, it's, he's still good. Yeah, but what he's has he done? He's still a good actor. Besides you having a crush on the man. <laughs> I feel like they're on, like, a level playing Because that both. one movie you did where, like, you have, like, a drone or, like, Mm. Remember, like that was terrible. I also feel like his recent okay, movies was just haven't mo- been big. No, so what, that's what I'm saying. Is the movie bad or is his acting? His acting is still good. 
maybe the movie's my not going to The roles have gotten worse. I think my favorite movie he's ever done is Fifth Element. Oh, my God. It's the best. Uh, I, it's so good. It's Fifth Element for me and then Die Hard. No, Die oh. Hard's number one. Sorry. No, Die Hard. Die Hard. Number one. And then I love him in Pulp Fiction. I oh, love he's him. great so in Pulp good. Fiction. He's so good. Pulp Fiction is, yeah, it's probably three for what he's I like so of him. He's so good yeah. in that movie. Yeah. There's where also, he, like, the freaks out room. about the watch. I love it. There's also a movie where, like, you can see his junk oh, for, like, I was, I was 100% going to ask you. It's you something midnight. It's something midnight. It's like, and I think Caress of Midnight. Color, color, color of midnight. midnight, yes. Oh my color God. of Midnight. He jumps yeah. in the pool, and you can see... Back in the VHS days, you yeah, guys pause like it fast. Hella pause it fast. Oh, <laughs> hella paused it. And we're like, wee, 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 yeah, welcome wee, to being wee, wee, a girl wee. in the 90s. We didn't have like layers where you could see stuff. You had yeah, to like, had you to had to really, really try. Try yeah. to see something. <laughs> Color of Midnight. Yeah, that was movie. it. Um, he like takes off his pants and jumps in a river or oh something. Like, He's so cool. I love um, this. Uh, but you think Brucey. that was really him though? Yes, it was. Really, yeah, because it looked like an accident. Was it a P double? For one, Dilly, don't ruin my childhood <laughs> dreams. It was a P double. <laughs> Could have been. No, it wasn't a, a P double. Double P double. It wasn't a P double. What's a P double? A peen double. A peen double. Okay. Do we need to spell Isn't it for that a, Yeah. Jeez, <laughs> bird. P P dub. So we. I just didn't know the double part. Sorry. Yeah, like you know, like a stunt double. Like oh, a tripod. Oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You thought it was like two. Yeah, Peace. I was like, isn't that a, a B double? But whatever. <laughs> um. Anyway, moving on. That's not a good topic. This isn't the after um, So, so I don't know. Yeah. This so bad. this is our second. I mean, is this? Well, you said is Star Wars your first favorite? Like, is what? that your? Is that the movie that's your favorite? New, New Hope. Hope. Yeah. And so, what's your and second? Is Empire or is it one. this? No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. After having just watched all of them, I was trying to think of like the order, like offhand, like what would I put these in? It's definitely like Empire, Return of the Jedi, I think the New Hope, and then I really like Force Awakens, and then I'd probably do Revenge of the Sith, and then the last. I like Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, and then like maybe The Last Jedi, and then like Phantom Menace, or no, then. uh, Phantom is and then Attack of the Clones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack of the Clones it's is a, so Oh, my bad. God. Sh- trying to watch these so I could come up for questions for Dilly. Um, wow. I haven't watched those in forever. And it's just, like, so hard. There's so much unnecessary CGI. Like, even with Revenge of the Sith, when it starts, like, uh, with Kenobi fighting... What's his face? Gra- uh, uh, Grievous. Grievous. So, I forgot that he was a droid, and it looks horrible. Oh, but I also think I like General Grievous though. I thought that no, was no. I thought cool... it was fine. It was just the look of it of, of like this lightsaber battle doesn't look cool because I know that you and McGregor isn't fighting like a person. But see, I think that's what happened with a lot of them is green screen and all that stuff was so new back then that yeah, a lot of true. actors didn't know how to act very well. Now Hugh McGregor's a great actor, so it's not as bad. But Hayden Christensen was a new actor and he didn't really know kind of like what, what he do. was doing. Do you think from, cause of me watching it recently, I really like Ewan McGregor that it makes me, I'm excited, more excited for the Kenobi show. Cause I was like, he's great as well. I've, I always liked him. Like, yeah. I think he's just a great actor Yeah, agreed. by himself. You know, like uh, when he did that. Train spotting. No, Train Spotting is no. great, but is it The Beach? I cannot watch <gasps> that movie. Train Spotting is not The Beach. No, 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 movies. it's a good movie. I cannot watch that oh, movie. Oh, The Island. Did you ever see The Island? Yeah, but I mean, he was great, but that movie was a little iffy. No, but I like when it's him as like the real person. Oh, yeah, yeah. When he just, no, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. my favorite right. part of the whole movie. Okay, so should we move questions. on now yeah. to the questions? Yes, so please. I wrote a letter in. Yes, for Dill with questions. Is there like a song for Sweet Nerd Up? Jesus. Like, but up, 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 up. I don't know. Like, that's a good uh, one. You did it. Do it. Nerd up. <laughs> I wish I could do. I was thinking of a Just more of like stop. a. Stop. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Bird. Dilly's, Dilly's really mean with the soundboard. Yeah. He's very mean. <laughs> that was, well, I know. I'm about to get it. So perfect timing. That was wow. so good. All right. I thought I could make it like a captain, like a Pac Man. These, kind of I hope these are multiple choice. They aren't because I thought I said one question and I thought that's that, hard. Like, you would have watched the movie. Um, You're on a nerdy podcast. Yeah. 
Some of these. All right, hit me. And I said five out of eight. So we'll do Lifeline. So how many does cheese have to get? <laughs> None. Um, this is then like, how is this a part of the bro? It's you. It's nerd do, we, do we have to explain <sighs> this to you again? All right. Gosh. What I will say is it's that terrible. You, can, you can do a Lifeline, and I will give you two. I'm just trying to get out of this. Where you can ask Sheila or Buddy. Like you can but do, not both. Not both. But you well, can I get, wouldn't ask cheese because she doesn't know. She has, she, <laughs> no, some of these are really easy. Uh, so I'll let you go to both of them. So maybe use cheese on the first one. So I get two lifelines? Two lifelines. And how many questions? Eight. Because for eight movies. Definitely. Oh, my God. All right. You just have to get five right, though. Oh, just five. Da 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 da. Yeah. Nerd up. Bro down. Okay. Nerd up. So for The Phantom Menace. I asked, where is Qui-Gon Jinn? Oh, he doesn't know that. I know. Taking, he doesn't even know who Qui-Gon Jinn is. Taking yes, Queen do. Amidala before having to land on Tatooine. Like, where are they? Where were they originally going? Do you know this? Uh, See, he doesn't even know. How am I supposed to know? Well, you can know. You don't have to know the planet per se, but you can know like where it was or what it was. Like, where, where would you take the main her? person? I'll even give a hint. Like, where's the Senate at? <laughs> um, Tatooine? <laughs> Before having to land on Tatooine. So the answer is Coruscant, which is the capital. Coruscant? That's, yeah, where the Senate is. It was funny because I was going to say the Senate. Yeah. So I get that. No. no. What? <laughs> That's I a, said that's, Tatooine. They <laughs> landed on Tatooine. That counts. I was, I was asking where uh, were they going before they had to land there. That's negative one. Yeah, negative one. So in Attack of the Clones, what does Anakin lose while fighting Count Do- Dooku? Come on. His lightsaber. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now, remember, you have a lifeline. I haven't right? seen that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> Are you okay. going to tell the answer to him? They, oh, sorry. The answer was his hand and basically his yeah. forearm. The hand that losing the hand is a thing. It's like everybody well, he loses. Okay, he loses the hand. I'm, I'm super confused. In Attack of the Clones, Anakin loses his hand. Okay. Um. Got it. So in He's Revenge, very upset. I know. Now I my, feel like my glasses are steaming up. I know. <laughs> He's steaming. Oh I love that if you were like, I can't see, I can't answer. Oh my God. Um. The uh right. on the Revenge of the Sith. Sorry, Yoda goes to the Wookiee home planet. To aid them in fighting against the droids. What's the planet called? Damn it, the Wookiee. What's the Wookiee home planet called? I know this one. These are kind of hard. Is that one hard? They say the name in the I know. Damn it, I know it. But I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to take a lifeline on this one. I'm going to go to Buddy on this one. I don't know it either. God damn it. (laughs) Actually, I was going to stop you because I saw them both shake their heads. It's uh, Kashi. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm not good on remembering. Okay, this anything. one you'll get. This yeah. one you'll get. You better uh, get this one. Who sells C-3PO and R2-D2 to Luke and his uncles? Come on, you know this. Oh, um, the Jawas. Yeah! Yeah, got one, Woo! baby. Snap, snaps. Um, what planet does Yoda live in exile on? Dagobah? Dag- good job! Dagobah. Dagobah. You didn't even need a, um, a lifeline. I got this, I got this. Two, Let's two, man. Boba Fett was killed by what creature? It starts with an S. I'm even going to give you the. Do you remember? Why is it so quiet? (laughs) (laughs) Nobody knows these. People know this one. But he already went to me. Wait, can you repeat the question? The thing is, I will give a pass to that because I knew you didn't know. So you weren't going to be. I saw you shake your head. Can you please rephrase the question? Bo- with the answer in it. Okay, Bo- ask the next, <laughs> hey, ask the, next, ask the other question. Oh, what's the other one? Oh, sorry. I have to go find the secondary question. So what, I'm like two and two right now? You're two, what? How'd you get two copies of Shmi? I don't know. Because, I just have uh, one right James here. Put it in there. Well, no, I I've missed second. two and it's I got right two. It's right here, Bird. It's on here. Thank you. Um, I'm sweating. It's who says I love you and who responds I know in Return of the Jedi. That one's way easier. Yeah. Um, Princess Leia and... Han Solo. Good job. Han Solo. It was the monster or the creature was the Sarlacc. Okay. Um, oh, this one's easy. Okay, um, so he has two. Yeah. I have three. 
He has no, three. Bro. He got three. Yeah, oh. he has yeah, he's three. got three. Because we did the other, the I love you question, so he has three. Okay. Um, so with uh, Force me. Awakens, I was just going to ask him one. Do you guys think I should still... Who yeah. does BB-8 belong to? Yeah. Yeah, that one's easy. It's easy if you've seen it. <laughs> Oh my okay, god. Okay, but you should not. Okay. Like, I'm going you to you on throw a lifeline. Okay, it's Poe. Good job. Poe Dameron. All right. Okay. And then in The Last Jedi, I'm going to go with what does Luke give Leia at the end of the movie? Yeah. This one's easy. Yeah. It's from. It's got to tie into another movie, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It ties. Multiple it, ties. it ties into Solo. Gives her. It's like. Mm. Because of that dick. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like on a He's chain. He's all, hey, I always wanted to have chain. that brother sister. Like, <laughs> remember? I'm sweating. Back it's in like the Joe Dirt. on a chain. I think uh, you Dylan, might be my you brother. It's like, you can see it. Oh my gosh, you got the chain. What are they? What do they look like? Sheila. What it doesn't look yeah, good. Don't, <laughs> I'm don't taking do a lifeline here. You already asked him. To Sheila again. <laughs> no, <laughs> You can you go to bird for a lifeline? I'm the one who asked the question. Yeah. I will give a color of what they are. What would wells. you hang over a review mirror? Yeah, it's a, it's it's basically a car ornament. Remember from Solo? Some dice? Yes. Boom. Gosh. Man, pull it. He got teeth. it. He got it. But he that gives it. you five. <sighs> who kills Snoke? Stork. Stork. <laughs> I did have on my own. So, it's not on. Uh, you got it. You got it. Ba, 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 I'm ba, there. Ba, ba, ba. I qualified. News. One, two, three, four, five. Oh yeah, with God. a hey, lot barely, of help. Dude. Yeah, barely. I had like you three had on some, my own. You had like real assists for I had those three. Puffs. Yeah, no, no you hesitation. Got three. That's pretty good. I really <laughs> thought five. You were going to be able to do it, but I didn't know that you sat at home not watching movies. I'm going to say that that was pretty difficult. Was it? Were they really hard questions? Did you guys? I I didn't know the answer. Well, when they don't know them. Well, I literally just watched the movies because I thought together we were like watching the movies. I would be I've asking him watching. questions like, I've who's Leia's them. brother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? The easiest Yoda? stuff. Um, I what had a, color uh, is Yoda? <laughs> <laughs> I did have a bonus one because of, from me watching it was which characters say it's a trap. Oh, it's that one guy. Oh, come on. You don't know this one? But there one? are two. I, oh. From me watching, I realized someone else says it too. But do you know the first but who's one? the most famous one? That one guy yeah. with the eyes on the side of his head. Yeah, but what's mm-hmm. his name? I don't know. General Akbar. Akbar. Yeah, Akbar. But in uh, Empire Strikes Back, when uh, Luke comes to rescue them. Oh, yeah. Leia, Leia says yells, it. it's a trap. Yeah. yeah she's like, lives, it's a right? trap. He's like one of the only, one of the ones that lives or does he, he gets killed. Akbar, no. uh, he lives. He lives. Yeah. Vader lets him live. No, they turn well, their no. ships around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was funny when watching because no one ever talks about the Leia part, and I'm like, no. two people say it. It's like a thing. Yeah, but Akbar's is the best. So it's a trap. basically, after assistance, somebody pulled it out. Wow. Um, and got the win. <laughs> I thought she wanted the like nerd shake your hand. I thought, she was I thought to I was touch trying to give boob. you like a high five, but like that's a weird high five. <laughs> this isn't low. a high five. That was a weird handshake. It's a low too. five. Boom. Boom. That was like a mid. Did you guys five. hear those sounds? Boom. Cheese, thanks for your help. High five. Bing. Well done. You're a millionaire now. <laughs> okay, you guys. So Who wants to be a millionaire? You guys, so I have do have a sidekick mail. Who's sidekick it from? mayo? It's from Mammy. Oh. But before we read Mammy's email, I do want to point out that Mammy wrote me a check today for $40. <gasps> for what? And if you can see, they are Star <gasps> Wars checks. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And, this and it's yeah. got... Who's got, got on it, Sheila? Well, you don't want to see her account number here. Well, yeah. I was going to do it from far away and then just fuzz those parts out. Yeah, but who's on it, Sheila? Old Bean? Old <laughs> you got the obes on there. You guys, it's got Old Ben, CP3O, and... Uh, um, who? Luke. CP3, C-3-O. Cheese 3 <laughs> Cepizio. <laughs> Cepizio. Cepizio. <laughs> who's got that Cepizio? <laughs> you know what? His new name is Cepizio. That's Cepizio. better. He's like Italian. Um, and Luke. Did he come to kiss the ring? Yeah. <laughs> anyway... What's really cute about Mammy too is like she ha- she ordered these like Star Wars checks, but she also got like um you know like a checkbook thing that oh, opens cover, up. cover okay. thing, and it that's also like Star Wars. It's got like oh adorable. She loves it. She's very excited for the movie. Yeah, she's Aww. very excited. Who's she sitting by? Nobody who's going to disturb right? her. I think Buddy. She's sitting by. Yeah, buds. I think she's sitting by me, Mammy. Okay, okay, so this is from Mammy. Okay, sidekick Mayo. Good evening, hardly heroes podcast staff. 
my email <laughs> my Staffers. email is in reference to the rant she capitalized rant from Sheila that was cheese. that my sweet baby girl cheese whiz went off on my beloved Star Wars yes yeah mammy can we call you SBG for like sweet baby girl sure that's a nickname that's been given to you so it works it's true that has been like given that. SBG oh all right I am mom sweet baby girl too okay um, Not really. <laughs> a New Hope, 1977, Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983, opened up a new movie experience and universe for the audience of that time. George Lucas brought a new way of viewing and enjoying Hollywood films. Many people who waited anxiously for the new Star Wars had grown up watching science fiction series such as Star Trek, Lost in Space, and Outer Limits. Star Wars brought out a whole different level of engagement and production for the audience. Some outstanding features were the huge letter, lettering marching across the opening screen with a full Scrolling. orchestra. Scrolling. Crawl. Thank you. It's a crawl. With a full orchestra playing in the background. The feeling of going into hyperspeed while sitting in your theater seat. A princess needing to be rescued by a young man who had a belief in change and rallied others against the status quo government who did not care about innocent lives. The Force, a powerful influence to protect good from the ravages of evil. Then there was a a dastardly, is that, yeah. that's like an mm-hmm. old dastardly. school word, um, Han Solo that you could adore and despise in one breath. You count on Han to rally around the cause for freedom if the price was right. And this was just the first episode. The story, the story, the script, and the cinematography all pulled together not only to excite the audience, but to fall in love with the characters and what they stood for. It is sometimes hard to explain and or capture the feelings to a younger generation who have not had ex- who had not had experience of that journey in that time frame. Love, Mammy. So, I don't really... So, I get, like, Mammy's kind of what she's, you know, what she felt or whatever. Mm-hmm. But what, what she's I was saying hoping, is it's not a kid's movie. No, what I was hoping is that Ma- Mammy was going to specifically sh- say, did she feel like that was made for a younger audience or not? I don't she didn't feel really like say. she's saying well, that. Well, but she, she didn't say it either like way. It felt like for her, and yeah. unless she was a child then. Um, well, no. but if you yeah. know my Mammy. <laughs> I don't think she you was. Know my mammy, mammy. I know my Mammy. I know your Mammy because <laughs> she's my Mammy. If you know my Mammy, that woman is... A child at heart. She's 100%. always that. But child at heart in adult body. Like, is totally different. She has to pay for an adult But ticket. I'm not. You guys. <laughs> That's true. I'm, Dang. Mad Cardigan gave you a wicked burn. That yeah. wasn't even a burn to me. That's a wake up the call. The thing yeah. is, is of course. Of course. You got told. Older <laughs> people <laughs> liked this movie. That didn't mean it was made for them. I never said that. I never you, said, oh, no uh, adult has ever seen the movie. You got. You got jammed. <laughs> yeah. You got, you got jammed. Carta jammed. I don't Plus. know how to. Be. I can't think of a cardigan comeback. No, a carta jam. That's pretty. A carta jam. A carta jam. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you guys are good. Idiots. Email. <laughs> Thanks, Hammers. Uh, Bird, where can they find us? Oh, um, they can find you guys at hardlyheroes.com. Where else? They can find you on Facebook at Hardly Heroes. They then can what? find you on Twitter at Hardly Heroes One. They can Number find you one. on oh jeez. They can find you on Instagram at Hardly Heroes, and you can go on Facebook to watch the people who are fans of you guys on the Hardly Heroes Sanctorum. Yes, and remember to go to Podbean, become a patron, so you can listen to the After Dork, where uh, we get a little gritty. Can I say, as a person paying two dollars a month, yeah, um, that I think it's worth it. I mean, no. I have so much. In, I feel like I lived with one of you. I've known one of you since you're 14 years old, and I've gotten a lot of insight. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm a fan. Cool. I'm glad. You know, that that is actually nice to have someone on here that's actually paying. I yeah. mean, we are a paying, but, you know, oh, an uh, actual listener. Real quick, we have a new Ooh, patron. We have a new patron, and his name is Laguna Kid. And I, I want to like know that. if you guys could... Pick out who you think it might be. Laguna Kid. There's been lots of Laguna Kids. Now, but that, the, that narrows the, the field a little bit. It narrows the field Geographic quite a bit. And there was original <laughs> Laguna Kids. And I feel like it's one of them. Uh, no. Well, it's funny. Is I 
I threw you off the scent in the beginning. I know Sheila knows him. Dill's skills, I don't know. I don't think he knows him. Okay. So it's not an original is what okay, he's it's saying. Not, no. Yeah, yeah. It's not an OG it's Laguna Kid. My generation That's Laguna Kids. Mm-hmm. Laguna Kid. Because I feel like you're an Elk Grove kid. I'm a Laguna Kid. Yeah, I would agree with that. Where'd you... Oh, well, okay. well, first I went to Valley High. Ooh. South Side. Really? Hmm. South Side. That's that's South Sac, man. Huh. That's South Sac. That's I South went Sac. to Laguna Creek. Like yeah, I went to yeah, Florida, but I lived in your, Laguna. Like, you're so I did I. Broke in the lagoons. <laughs> I lived okay, in Laguna, okay, but had to okay, go to Valley. Okay, okay, come on, you guys. Yeah, so, this, do you have any bad. idea, Shmi? No. Bobo. Bobo. Bobby. My buddy Bobby. Uh, big shout out. Thank you for supporting Bobby. the show. Yeah. But uh, his name on there is the Laguna Kid. I, I like that. That's pretty that's funny. funny. So, well, welcome to, we're going to do, um, well, we're not doing an After Dark. Uh, we're doing one today, but we're not releasing it probably until later. Yeah. We don't know yet. But Bird's going to be on it. Yeah. It's going to be Bird's first After Dark. Oh my so. gosh. I'm so excited. She's excited to curse. I know. I'm sorry. It's about earlier too. I so, thought we were already I was a baseball the after- <laughs> 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 All right. That is my favorite soundbite. Just so you know. Play it again. <laughs> I was a baseball shamer. <laughs> That's so good. Stupid. You notice how most of the soundboard is all cheese? I know. Cold Stone, Steve Austin. That's because I'm the star of the show. No, yeah. because you say the dumbest things. That's why. <laughs> That's, I don't think they're Bird, dumb. Bird, shut up. Uh, yeah, and Bird has called me out several times on the Sanctorum for saying things. So Yeah, I One don't time. think they're dumb. I think that you bring a specific personality to the show. I definitely agree show, with that. And like that means Edward Scissors, scissors hands. hands. And I think that you're more soundbiteable than other people. Oh, People. Yeah. Hey, say, very sound say Jurassic, Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> Jurassic Park. <laughs> Jurassic. <laughs> Jurassic. With a D and a T. <laughs> well, on that. Anyway, yeah. you guys. Um, yeah. So. And uh, you know, we'll see you guys on Thursday night. See you Thursday night. Movie. Yeah. Woo woo. Uh, uh, you guys have a good night, and just remember one thing. Disclaimer: They don't know shit. You guys have a good night. Bye. See ya. Love you.